Dobry den, it's Kiralis. This is your track simulator 2 and welcome to Bratislava. I'm still here, right? Look at my truck. It's all pimped and looking nice. So before I start do, to do anything in this episode, I just want to congratulate Studio CAA for winning the game in the last episode. So Studio CAA, buddy, congratulations. Check your YouTube inbox. There should be a game key for this game. It's amazing. So hopefully you enjoy. And the same goes for this episode, guys. Just write a comment below and hopefully I will be able to pick one lucky winner. So let's go. What has happened? Look at this absolutely pretty interior i downloaded a mod which makes the interior all wide and like totally pimped so just cool one more thing which i did let me just see here hmm, if i go to job market and use fried market here can you see real company names and logos that is pretty impressive i'm just gonna go with the, this tank to salzburg because i said that in the last episode let's so let's just pick that and let's go pick it up I'm going to show you how to install mods in a future episode or even like just a quick episode about it. But today is the 23rd of December, which means that it's Christmas tomorrow. And I'm in a bit of rush on buying presents, right? I'm recording this for you and I still got tons of presents to buy. So I'm in a bit of rush. The only prezi I've bought is actually for my dad. I went to the local game shop today and you know he's got his Logitech G27 wheel and everything. So I went to the local game shop and I thought like what should I get for my dad and then I saw it. Euro Truck Simulator 2 and I thought like why not. So he's got his own like you know trucking company and it's Christmas Eve tomorrow. He's got his Logitech G27 wheel. So what will be better at spending Christmas at my parents' house playing Euro Truck Simulator with my dad? Awesome, that would be awesome. I wish I could record, but I can't because, you know, I don't have the gear with me and he doesn't have the gear. So doesn't matter, doesn't matter. We're still gonna enjoy ourselves, but do not tell Miss Kiralis, right? She's in the room next door here. So I'm just gonna be quiet about it because, you know, she wouldn't enjoy me playing Euro Truck Simulator on Christmas Eve, so. But it's for my dad, it's his birthday tomorrow as well, like, it's his birthday tomorrow and um, and it's Christmas Eve, so it's a pretty big deal for him, right? So hopefully, hopefully she will let me play with him. That sounded wrong. Play the game with him, right? Don't get me wrong. Alright, let's go and pick this shipment up. But one thing, like, I don't, well, I told you in a previous episode that I'm gonna take the will from my dad and take it back home because I gave it to him like long time ago but um, now I have second thoughts like now that he will get this game he will be so addicted so I don't have the heart to take the will so I wish I could get one of the Logitech G25 wheels or G27 wheel from Santa I was a bit focusing there but you never know if that happens or not but one thing I'm worried about it's like I'm recording these episodes using a keyboard and I got a big big desk microphone here so it removes all the static noises and stuff like that but imagine using a wheel where you have to like use a gearbox a clutch and everything I'm, I mean I'm not sure I will be up for that multitasking that might be just too much for little me but I'm gonna try it out first and if I'm if I can handle that I would totally use the wheel because it's much smoother gameplay and I think I would enjoy the game even more than I do today. And I, I do enjoy this game, I absolutely adore this game. So awesome, just enjoying the scenery, derping around all over Europe. Earning cash, even though my driver John sucks at earning cash. He loses money all the time. And I'm, I'm still keeping him. I don't know why I'm keeping him. He should get fired a long time ago. That's, that's what I'm gonna do in the next episode. I'm gonna fire John. I'm gonna employ somebody else. And see if that works out better. Hmm. No cars, no cars coming. All right, let's, let's go then. Let's go. Let's make this happen. We still need to ch change the lane again. So let me just indicate. Oh, buddy, just wait up. I'm changing lanes. Did you see that in the mirror? He was like, I don't know, no, no, Kiralis. 
I'm coming here and no way, we'll say. I got the big rig, I can do whatever I want, I'll run you over. It's kinda cool to see all the company logos on the trucks, or on the trailers at least. It makes the game even more realistic than it is. So I'm happy that I installed that mod. And I was about, like, if I sound funny, I'm sorry, I'm eating chocolate at the same time. Or I've just ate chocolate that's before the recording, so I have a bunch of chocolate in my teeth now, for some reason. Because it's chocolate, right? It's crunchy, ch crunchy chocolates, chocolate bits. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it was my, my bad there. But I saw my turn coming up. Oh, the GPS is back, by the way. Some episodes ago, you people were like, Keralis, just use the signs, turn off the GPS, it's much more fun to watch. Alright, so in the last episode, I turned off the GPS. And now you're raging that you can't see how fast I'm driving, how much money I have and stuff like that. So the GPS is back and it's here to stay. So no more GPS talk, right? GPS will be here. And it's pretty convenient for me because if I'm driving and talking to you guys, it's pretty, pretty nice to have it here because then I can focus a bit more on the talking. Then I can just glare like on my, not is it called glare? I'm not, you know what I mean, glance on my, my GPS and know where the turn is coming up ahead and stuff like that, so. Honestly, pretty convenient. And like it's, it's like 4 or 5 p.m. here now. The shops are open to 9 and I still need to buy a present for my wife. I have no idea what to buy. So after this episode, I'm just gonna render this episode, uh, upload it, and I'm off to the shops on a shopping spree. Prezi shopping spree. Because I haven't had any time. Like, I'm also, I'm really sorry that I haven't released a lot of your tracks in your episodes. But you know, I've been working mad, like just before Christmas. I work at this company, as I said before, which is called DSV. We might see a trailer here in the game from that company later on. but. Like, they've ch just changed locations on the, on their logistics center. Like, they've built this new, brand new logistics center, which is, like, one of the biggest in North Europe, which is just, is just humongous. Like, it's, it's so big that it's just insane. So, I, they changed that, right? And I moved as well to the new location. And the problem is, it's, like, 120 kilometers one way there. Uh, so, it takes, for me, about one hour, 20 minutes to get there one way, which means it's almost three hours of driving time each day for me. Maybe not, like two and a half, let's say two and a half. And then working for like eight, nine hours, coming home, ain't much time for recording. So it's been like really stressful. So if you haven't seen that, the episodes in like, like you used to, I'm so sorry for that, but hopefully I can improve on that soon. I just need to get into the, to the field, but it's like, Transports and logistics and Christmas. Trust me, just before Christmas, it's so damn hectic. You should just imagine that. All right, all right, it's my turn. Hmm. Okay, buddy, go, 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 buddy. Otherwise, we will be standing here forever. Yeah, that's right. Did you see that car? That was insane. Look at them turning. It's just insane how fast they turn. Oh, did you see that? That dude was like totally flashing with the lights and like, dude, come on, you can drive. Whoa, that dude wasn't that nice though. Almost crashed him. <laughs> was it not my fault? Trust me, not my fault. And how about your Christmas shopping? Have you been shopping like mad as well? Or do you have presents left to shop? I'm usually like that. I'm usually like... Shopping Christmas presents in the last possible time. Vienna discovered. We are in Austria, Vienna. Pretty nice. Guten Tag, Vienna. Now I'm like, like you know, like last year I was in such a rush that I didn't buy anything for my dad, so I actually stopped at a petrol station and got him a movie box. Here in Sweden, it's like it was like the last Christmas prezi time ever. It was like, okay, we close in 15 minutes. What do you want? And I was like, oh my god, what should I buy to my dad? 
So I bought the thing on Movie Box, and I feel so ashamed. But this year, your truck simulator, he will love it. The best, best Prezi ever. I would want this game as a Prezi, but I got it, so I don't want it. I already got it. I got it, and I love it. Maybe the wheel. I'm not sure about the wheel. I kind of wish Santa was that good, but imagine getting the wheel and you just still spend a lot of money on it, right? And then you feel like, oh, that was a waste of money because you can't really record and use the wheel at the same time. Dude, did you see that guy? He was totally raging because I had he had to stop in the in a roundabout and it I was already in the roundabout, buddy. Your fault. Let me just change the lanes here. Why is the car driving so slow ahead? Hmm. What is it? Like, is it 50 km per hour speed limit or what is it? If it is, I'm totally speedy. Doesn't matter. There's no police here now. Now is there? And as soon as I said this, there would be like a, a camera up ahead. Trust me, never fails. Never fails. Nah, we, we're good. We're good. We're living Vienna. Where's the damn highway? I want to see some highway action. Look at the company logos on the trailers. It's like driving in real life. That is awesome. And I've actually, actually noticed when I was in the in a spray shop here, you can actually like spray shop with different colors on the track and you have like different... Uh, possibilities to have like logos and stuff on the tracks which is pretty awesome so as soon as I hit 20, level 25 maybe I will get my pimping done on the new Scania truck because that's what I'm aiming for I think it's got like 720 horsepower power that's gonna be awesome so I'm just gonna wait for that to happen and we're gonna just rock the boat and I'm gonna fire John in the next episode trust me no way John is staying with this company. No way. We're gonna employ a better driver. A guilty trailer po just passing that company. <gasps> come on, come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Uphill driving, third lane, this is so not cool. Let me just change some lanes because I feel like I'm in the speedy lane with my truck going uphill in 70 km per hour, which is not cool. Not cool at all. Look at the scenery in Austria. You gotta love this. I love this. Do you love this? I love this. Oh, look at that fancy castle up there. Snap. Hello, buddy. Ooh. See? That's what I mean. I need to focus. Overtaking. Overtaking. What company is this? See, now I'm just totally like, oh, which company is this? Which company is that? It's awesome to see like the different company names here. Look at that. Nils Hansson. Is that a Swedish company? We just passed that. How, how cool is that? And it's damn well made. Oh, we're getting close to the company trailer of my company. It's not called that anymore, but we still got a bunch of, bunch of trailers in that design. It's gonna say DFDS Transport, but it's not called that anymore. anymore. It's called DSV, right? Come on, come on, you can do it, Kirellis. Go uphill in 67 kilometers. <laughs> Such a noob track, come on, let's go. I need to overtake my own company track. All right, speeding up, speeding up, speeding up. <laughs> nah, I won't be able to. He's too fast for me. Okay, eight, doing 80 now. I'm gaining. I'm gaining ground. Man, this is so damn pretty. I got him. I got him. Look at that. DFD, D, DFDS transport. There, there's where Carreras works. That's right. Ha, I got him. And Austria, I have to say, delivers. Look at that amazing castle. Is it a castle? 
Might be a big church as well, but it looks like a castle from here. Just roaming about. And you have to leave me feedback in comments. Like, not just, like, okay, else I'm totally interested in the game, can I win? Just leave some feedback. What is there you want to see in this Let's Play? Well, it's a truck simulator game, right? So we can't really do that much more than we are doing. We're driving a truck, picking up shipments, delivering them, unloading, loading, and stuff like that, right? But is there anything else you want to see? Do you want to see, like, do you have, a, like, a mod for the game which you have installed yourself? And it's like totally epic. Do let me know in comments and I will try out the mod. But I love this. I've said it so many times. The only thing I'm a bit confused about is like you have these Ausfahrts in German and Austria and I think in Switzerland as well. And they look like like that, right? It's like they're going out from the it's hard to describe now because we just paused that and I can't really describe it. But it's like it's taking up one file of the or one lane of the of the of the road itself. In Sweden you really don't have those. You have like you have your two lane highway or motorway or three lane motorway. And then you have like an exit which is like a separate lane. Look at this now. Do you see? Now I need to get into that lane not to miss the motorway going straight. In Sweden that exit would have been like a separate exit connected to the highway or the motorway and i'm a bit confused about the german motorways here because they always have it hmm. interesting as Tsushima void would have said it interesting you see what i mean now look at this you see that exit is like from the third lane here so if I was in the third lane here, I would have missed that and I would have gone off the highway or motorway. Don't like it. Don't like it. Mm -mm. What time is it? It's 8.43 a.m. here. We got 180 kilometers to our destination, which is Salzburg. And let me see. Do I need to change lanes here now again? I think I do. So let me just change the lane. See what I mean? This is what this is what I mean. So I'm can I can I have to be forced out of in this lane just not to miss the motorway going straight? That's driving me mad. It's a lot of lane lane changing all the time. And having a truck going 90 km per hour, you have to change lanes all the time. Because you can't be in this lane all the time. Because it's not fast enough. Hmm. Oh, now I need to slow down. Let this car pass. And let's overtake this. No company logo. Oh, buddy. But I'm totally boss. I got gotcha. What? What brand was that? Was that Majestic? A Volvo? What was that? Mercedes? No idea. Majestic, what track brand is that? I forgot myself. Is that the track brand? Majestic. <laughs> Confusing. I love the scenery. It's so damn... The graphics are amazing in this game. Even though it might be too much bloom in some places, you still gotta love it. 136 kilometers. We are so close to the destination. It's just insane. Can you feel it? Salzburg, here we come. And if I don't speak to you before Christmas, I would wish you a Merry Christmas. Just enjoy the time spending with your family, eating awesome food. Just enjoying the, the free time. That's the, that's the most important thing, is being with your family on Christmas. Don't forget that. Family always first. And I'm going to play your track simulator with my dad whole Christmas Eve. He's, oh, look at that. That's the DSV. That's where Keralis works. DSV. Did you see that? <laughs> That's right. I feel like we're getting close. We got 115 kilometers left. And it feels like we're really close. How expensive is the petrol here? Oh, it's really expensive. Oh, this is so... I don't think they could make it more improved than it is already on graphic front it's just looking beautiful right 
Okay, change lanes. Let's see what I mean. I hate those lane changes. It's like I'm forced to this field. Like if there was a track coming, like overtaking me or car, I would have missed the motorway. Spot on, missed it. Salzburg, Salzburg. Oh shit, Salzburg. Our turn is coming up. But I got a funny feeling that we ain't going to Salzburg because we still got 95 kilometers and we are literally in Salzburg. So no idea what's going on. Let me see here. Let's just take this exit and pray that we are in the correct dire direction here or location. Do not hit anything. I have been so good in this episode, I haven't hit anything. I don't think I even hit a sign. Whoa! Snap! I jinxed myself. Did you guys see that? I was running on two wheels. Look at the text down there. Driver John couldn't find a job and had to return empty. Their fuel and maintenance costs are 700 euros. This is why John had needs to go. He's not a good asset to the company. He lose a lot of money for us. We need to fire John and damn, I jinxed myself. I had the worst accident ever. Imagine flipping the truck there. That would be horrible. So close to our destination. Salzburg discovered. Guten Tag, Salzburg. Oh, snap. Break. Indicate, like a pro, like a total boss. What company brand is that? TNT and then who is coming up here? Buddy, what company logo do you have? Let me just see. Do we manage manage to say all oh, damage percentage on trailer is zero? So we're still gonna get excellent if we don't fail. Hmm. Ah, it looks it looks a right the tank. Let me put on my my beacons because we can. Go go go, buddy. You can do it. Red is actually a very nice color on our track. Maybe we should repaint our track red. Just because we can. Oh snap! I totally blew the good run I had. Oh, man! I was so happy that we didn't even hit a sign and then BAM! Track goes bananas, driving on two wheels. Pretty not cool. 71 kilometers to our destination. I have no clue where we are going. This can't be good though. My phone is ringing. Let me just turn off my phone. Let me see here. Escape. There we go. Phone is off. I can't drive and talk on the phone at the same time. That is so dangerous. So not doing that. I'm still confused where the hell we are going. Let me see. Map. What the hell is this? Oh, we are going here. Is that a quarry or something? Gotta see this. Gotta see this. On the road to Innsbruck. Are we confused? I am confused. Are you confused? Because I am so confused. I got my beacons on. Like a total boss. Come on, buddy. Drive. I don't want one more accident to happen here. Is that a train coming up? Oh my god. Look at the train. I need to get the train simulator and try it out as well. Damn. Would you guys love to see me playing train simulator? Do write in comments if you would enjoy that. Because I'm thinking like Steam has got it on like on sale right now. So I'm thinking of buying that for myself and just to try it out. And it seems pretty epic, but it's not like, you know, you're pretty much stuck on the tracks you have. It's not like this game where you can like move freely on the roads. Oh dude, that was pretty dangerous overtaking. Look at that dude. He has no respect whatsoever. I'm not letting you in. 
ashamed. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> yeah, but would you enjoy some train simulator with Kiralis? That's the question. Do let me know in comments. And 30 kilometers. I can feel it. We are so close to our destination. That's just insane. Insane. That might be a quarry, like a stone quarry or something. Oh, so beautiful. Look at the lakes and everything. Do not crash, Kiralis. Do not crash. Be careful. I want to get excellent on this map. Even though my truck is damaged 2% and that's going to cost me a fortune to repair. Okay, our turn is coming up, so I'm going to indicate it just because, you know, I don't want to cause an accident on the truck's car behind us. Honestly, Austria is beautiful country. Look at this scenery. Okay, enough talking. Focus on getting into the quarry. Is it quarry or not? Let me just see the sign here. Steinbrush. Steinbrush. Is that like a quarry? It must be a quarry. Steinbrush. It's like a stone. Stone quarry. Don't tell me the rain has started. Oh no. Bad rain. Where is crap here? Let's focus on this and let's make this happen. Couldn't come in a worse time to rain. So let's see, let's focus on this because we don't want to fall down the mountain here. Where is the f place I'm gonna drop off my trailer. Don't say it, it's like, I bet it's on the bottom of the quarry. Good I have my beacons on. Now everyone will see me, at least. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, this is like here somewhere. Where is it? It's thundering. I don't like the weather here. Is it down? Oh, it's here. It is here. Hmm. Can I, like, just go... Let me see. Can we reverse up there and turn the track around? Or do I need to reverse? Let me just try this out. If it works, I will be a happy camper. Or a happy trucker, at least. So, if I go here and like reverse the trailer all the way is that even possible maybe it is maybe it's not but it's going good so far now nah, i think we still need to reverse it in right oh, yep snap so let's see this the weather is horrible, the sound is just annoying. Will we succeed doing this? We did. Bam! Come on, excelente! Excelente! How much cash do we get? 14,809 euros. 659 XP, which is just amazing. So let's just see the freight market from here, from Salzburg. Where can we go? Strasbourg, Stuttgart, Zurich. Zurich is pretty awesome, right? Hmm. Oh, look at that. That's my company trailer as well. Why not doing that? How much money is that? That's 27. Oh no, we need to get this spring trailer up to Zurich. That's the next project for next episode, people. Let me just see my truck. How pretty isn't that? Awesome. You know what? Thank you for watching. This is Kiralis. I wish you a Merry Christmas. Spend some lovely time with your families and stuff. And I will see you soon again in Euro Truck Simulator. Take care and happy trucking. Bye, guys.